My name is Dr. Samir Puri, and I'm the founder of CEREC-Doctors.com. Welcome to this video on Vita Enamic IS, the restorative implant solutions block from Vita. These blocks are finally here and are a great tool to add to our armamentarium for restoring implants with CEREC. When we restore dental implants, there's evidence to support that a more resilient material has some benefits over a harder material and should be considered when we look at what material to place on top of our implants. A study from the Benassia Group in 2013 showed that implants react to occlusal forces differently due to the absence of the periodontal ligament. Vitaenamic is a ceramic block that has some polymer infiltration that gives the material certain stress absorbing capabilities which mimics natural dentition as part of a biomimetic approach. Biomimetics is a term that's used to describe restoring decayed or damaged teeth to the strength and function of natural teeth. Studies have shown that implant-supported crowns restored with dynamic absorb 71% more mastication forces than crowns supported with a harder material like zirconia. Studies also demonstrate that enamic has a higher force absorption than either glass ceramic or gold alloy restorations. A study by Menini's group showed that occlusal load is a crucial factor affecting dental implant healing phase and the long-term survival and success of dental implants. So definitely, we can discuss that the literature supports the fact that a more resilient material might be indicated for use on top of implants. This is what makes the implant solution blocks from Vita Enamic so interesting for the clinician to consider for their final restorative choice on top of their implant restorations. The Enamic blocks are used in the normal CEREC implant workflow. These blocks are supported by a titanium base, which is screwed into the implant. The blocks are indexed on top of the titanium base called the tie base, which has a male notch, which matches with the female notch in the block. This indexing prevents rotation of the restoration on top of the titanium base. In the CEREC protocol for restoring implants, after implant placement, a scan post is screwed into the implant and a scan body is placed on top and imaged with the CEREC. This scan body gives the software the position of the implant which is then used to create a multitude of different types of restorations. The enamic blocks are available in a size 14 and a size 16. The size 14 are used to fabricate the abutments and the size 16 blocks are used to fabricate full contour screw retained restorations, both temporary as well as the definitive final restoration. The enamic IS blocks are unique in the sense that they are the only available block for restoring implants that are indicated by the manufacturer to be used both as an abutment and full contour restoration. Once the implant position is scanned, the user has the option to fabricate both screw retained as well as the abutment for the cement retained restoration as mentioned previously. If the clinician wanted to mill an immediate screw retained provisional for a patient, the advantage of using enamic is that when the patient returns for the final restoration, you can already have the case completed by simply opening the case file and now milling another enamic block. The final restoration can be completed before the patient comes back, thereby saving valuable time for both the doctor and the patient. Custom healing abutments are also an option to be fabricated with enamic, again the advantage being that the same contour of the custom healer can be recreated for the final restoration. The enamic blocks are a great adjunct to our CEREC implant workflow. I encourage you to look at these blocks to see how they may fit in your restorative protocol. For additional questions on enamic blocks, please don't hesitate to visit the discussion forums on CEREC-Doctors.com or contact Vita directly. There are numerous videos in the CEREC implant workflow that are available in the CEREC Doctors digital library. Thank you for watching this video.